A couple of years ago, I went to this free one day course about coaching and hypnosis and self development. At some point, we covered the six human needs by Tony Robbins. At that point, when they brought up the slide, I thought, come on, man, I know this stuff. My brain told me, oh, I know that. But then I reminded myself, always be a student of life. Always be willing to learn. So pretend as if you don't know anything, I told myself. Pretend that this is the first time you see it. Keep a beginner's mind. Stay open and stay curious. And perhaps you learn something about yourself which you had no idea before. Lo and behold, that's exactly what just happened to me. It wasn't that the needs were something new for me, but it actually created more clarity about them. And most of all, it helped me understand which needs I, I valued the highest. Welcome to another episode from Inside Treasures. My name is Phoebus and I love to challenge myself and those around me for the purpose of growth. This podcast is about helping you to heal, to change and to grow. This particular episode is all about the six human needs according to Tony Robbins. If you haven't already listened to the previous episode, go ahead and listen to it first because we're building on a greater context about the idea of needs and the way that they drive our behavior. Repetition and patterns of certain ideas will benefit you for a greater understanding about yourself and other people around you. From today's episode, you might notice some similarities with Maslow's hierarchy of needs. I want you to notice the patterns, but also I want you to notice the different perspective that can lead you to a deeper insight for you, because just a different angle of looking at the same thing can help us get a deeper insight into the thing that we're looking at. According to Anthony Robbins, we always have a motive for the things that we do. People do what they do in order to fulfill their six human needs. Dysfunctional behaviors arise from the inability to consistently meet some of the core needs, or perhaps it's a way, an unhealthy way, of meeting that need. According to Anthony Robbins, the six basic core human needs that we have are certainty, variety, significance, love and connection, growth and contribution. Certainty is highly correlated with Maslow's sense of safety, that need for safety. So certainty is about the need for safety, to feel secure, comfort, to have some control and to have some consistency in the things that they happen. It's about avoiding pain and finding pleasure. It's about avoiding change because it is uncomfortable. It's about avoiding new situations and making sure that we stay certain and we stay consistent with what we have in front of us. Next, we have uncertainty and variety. We know that if life was always certain, then things would be very, very boring and there would be no change. So certainty and variety is focused mainly around change. It's about dealing with the unknown. It's about having variety, a sense of surprise, a sense of adventure, a sense of challenge in order to create some sense of excitement, some sense of movement. It's about taking risks and getting into new situations or meeting new people. The next human need is the sense of significance. According to Maslow, it's that sense of esteem, that need for esteem. It's that we matter, that we're unique, that we're important. It's about getting recognition from other people, getting attention, being validated, being seen, being heard, being accepted. It's about to have a meaning about ourselves that we needed, wanted, desired. A sense of importance and being worthy of love. As I said to the previous episode, we want to be very careful here with our need because too much of it can create this sense of superiority and too little of it can create that sense of inferiority. Number four human need, sense of connection and love. And these are being put together. According to Maslow's needs, it's love again. It's about the sense of having closeness of union with someone else or something else outside of us. Communication, to feel unified, again, to feel approved, and a sense of attachment, to feel connected with other people, with nature, with God, with our colleagues. It doesn't matter. It's that sense of connection. It's that sense of intimacy and connecting with other human beings. In that part, we also see loyalty and generosity, vulnerability, deep, meaningful relationships. Deep, meaningful relationships with presence, of course, that we can truly connect, feel love, and give love. The fifth, sixth core human need, according to Tony Robbins, is growth. According to Maslow, again, it was that sense of being self-actualized. It's about striving to be better, 
about the need for constant emotional growth, physical growth, spiritual growth, intellectual growth, whatever that growth is, a way of us changing again. So growth and change, they're linked together. It's about pushing those boundaries. It's about moving beyond our comfort zone. It's about having that growth mindset that allows us to change, to adapt. The sixth human need is that of contribution. Maslow didn't have it in the model that I presented to you, but he later revised the model and he created a section called self-transcendence. And in that section, it was that sense of contribution again. It's the serving of others, the supporting of others, the giving and contributing to other people, to other people's lives, to different causes, to bigger ideas. And all this with contribution, it has to do with us being outside of ourselves. It can feed back into ourselves for sure. Us giving beyond something that's greater than ourselves. That can be God, it can be family, it can be social groups, it can be an ideal, it can be an idea, it can be a cause. But it's that I'm contributing and doing something outside of myself for other people. In that space of contribution, we find purpose and meaning. And it's towards that greater good. In summary, the six core human needs are certainty, variety, significance, love and connection, growth and contribution. Now that you've seen them, you can understand a bit more about yourself. It's about understanding that looking past and beyond the behaviors that we attribute to ourselves and actually into what drives us. It's the motivation factor behind the things that we do. Some of our needs we feel in a positive way, sometimes we meet them in a neutral way, and sometimes we meet them in a negative way. Some behaviors that are not beneficial still meet our needs. This is something to keep track of. And the other thing is like some behaviors actually check the box for multiple needs. When you understand your human needs, the things that drive you, the things that are at the core of your behavior, you can better help and serve yourself. And of course, you can understand other people and notice what kind of behavior self which needs in order for you to be able to help them and assist them to meet their own needs. Although this is not our duty, we can still help other people and it's part of contributing for other people to meet their needs. I'm going to cover this on a later episode and this is more of the meaty stuff that I want us to cover about needs. But before we do, I'd like us to get the foundations right. For this episode to be meaningful to you, I'd like you to do a tiny bit of work. First, understand that we each prioritize our needs in a different way. And the priority of those needs will dictate our behavior and our decisions. Depending on which needs we put first. At the beginning of the episode, I talked about me understanding my priority of needs. For me, it's growth, love and connection. These were at the highest. Once I saw that, I had great clarity. So after this episode finishes, I'd like you to take two minutes. You don't need to take any longer about which needs do you think are your primary and secondary. Find your top two. Understand your strength. Which needs drive your decisions? Which needs drive your actions and the way you show up in the world? Also, take a note on which one are you neglecting that could perhaps be causing you problems in life? Or which one are you mismanaging and showing up with behaviors that are not so beneficial, and keep a note of that. Now that you have awareness around your six human needs, what changes can you create? What things can you strengthen that you're better serving, even through your core human needs, the primary ones and the secondary one? Think about it. Spend a few minutes to realize how these needs affect your life, your day-to-day -day life, and how you can better benefit yourself. As my friend Tony Robbins said, only those who have learned the power of sincere and selfless contribution experience life's deepest joy, true fulfillment. Growth and contribution give us a sense of progress and fulfillment. A deep sense of evdemonia, as they would say in ancient Greek. It's that blissful, content, happiness that we get through the process of growth and through the process of contributing to other people, to things that are greater than us. All needs are of importance, but these last two needs are lately coming more and more into the front of the stage. And we've seen them through different studies saying, if you want to feel happier about your life, you have to find ways to grow and of course to contribute to other people. 
So we're moving from selfish ways of driving our behavior into becoming more of leading and serving others for the purpose of serving and not necessarily for significance. And there's that school of thought that says when you focus on growth and contribution, a lot of the previous needs that we mentioned will get fulfilled. I'm here to help you heal, change and grow. If there's something that resonated with you, something you need help with, give me a shout at podcast at insidetreasures.com or reach out to me on Instagram at Inside Treasures. If you found any of the messages useful and insightful, share them with your friends and loved ones. Allow the messages and wisdom to spread to those around you because you never truly know how they will impact them. Thank you for tuning in to another episode from Inside Treasures. My name is Phoebus, and until next time, my friends, let peace guide your life, let love guide your heart and reason guide your thoughts.